Fact sheet on the study. Sex imbalances at birth in Armenia. Demographic evidence and analysis. The study was conducted from June 2012 to January 2013 by Dr. Christophe Gilmoto, senior fellow at the French Research Institute for Development, based at Population and Development Center in Paris. Purpose, to conduct an in-depth analysis of sex at birth imbalances in Armenia and provide projections of the possible consequences of the skewed sex ratio for our country. The problem. A study conducted in 2011 confirmed that prenatal sex selection and consequent abortion are prevalent in Armenia. Some families in Armenia prefer to have boys and prevent the birth of girls through abortions. As a result, since the early 1990s, the sex at birth ratio in Armenia has become skewed and comprised 114 boys to 100 girls in 2012, while the accepted normal biological ratio is 102 to 106 boys to 100 girls. The experience of other countries with a similar problem shows that this phenomenon can lead to serious consequences, including higher crime rates, increased emigration of men, abduction of women, and so on. There was a need for a separate study to shed light on the potential consequences for Armenia. The study is based on the major sources of demographic data that were available at the time it was conducted, including the 2001 and 2011 census data. The report on prevalence of and reasons for sex-selective abortions in Armenia, UNFPA 2011, birth registration data, and so on. All the three preconditions for sex selection are present in Armenia. First, Armenian society tends to favor boys over girls. Second, prenatal technology allowing future parents to know the sex of their child in advance and avoid the undesirable birth of girls is available and accessible across the country. And third, couples prefer to have few children. The sex ratio at birth began to be distorted after 1991. And today it stands at 114 male births per 100 female births. This corresponds to one of the highest levels of birth masculinity observed anywhere in the world. The sex ratio at birth during the last decade ranges from 111 to 124 in different regions of Armenia. In Sunik, for example, it remains moderate, but on the other hand, in provinces like Arakatotan and Gerard Kunik, birth masculinity is higher today than in China. The indicator for sex ratio at birth in Armenia also depends on the order of birth. Among children born third and later, it is above 160 boys to 100 girls. This is probably the highest ever reported level in the world. For Armenian families, usually having one boy among two children is enough to consider their reproductive plans fulfilled. The preference for sons and the reproductive behavior associated with this constituted a distinct factor of high fertility in the early 1990s, which was at double or triple the level today. From 1996 to 2001, the first and second births represented less than 9% of extra male births. That is, abortion was used to favor male births starting only with the third child in the family. From 2001 to 2010, this indicator was higher than 26%. Hence, sex selection and abortion among the first and second births is now a serious problem in Armenia. According to the most recent census, the sex ratio of the population born since 1996 is 115 boys to 100 girls. In Armenia, male children aged 15 and under outnumber female children by almost 39,000. The desire for having at least one son in Armenia is stronger than the aversion towards girls that is observed in India in relation with the cost of dowry payment. 
Continuous attempts to have a son have resulted in a situation where in a majority of families in Armenia, boys tend to be, on average, younger than girls. For cases when the birth of the child is registered by the father, the sex ratio at birth is around 117. While when the birth is registered by the mother, which is most probably the case of single mothers, the sex ratio is barely distinguishable from the normal sex ratio at birth. If this phenomenon of sex selection and abortion continues, projections suggest that this will result in almost 93,000 missing women or future mothers by 2060. The number of unborn girls will reach 2,000 by 2060. The lack of balance between the sexes in Armenia will have a negative impact on the formation of future families and may also be cause for further emigration. As a result, because of the skewed sex ratio, Armenia's population will reduce by an additional 80,000 inhabitants, which is currently the annual number of births over two years in Armenia, by 2060, and will, ceteris paribus, constitute around 2.6 million.